So the best personal statement I ever read um, was actually a medical school application. Um, the personal statement started with the quote, nobody cares when you die in Cape Town, um, which was an incredibly eye-catching phrase uh, to have. And it was about how this individual watched a man die on the side of the road in Cape Town, South Africa, and the ways in which the plight of these individuals affected his desire to become a uh, medical professional. And I think that ultimately, you know, this embodied kind of three of the most important concepts for personal statement writing. One of them is you really do need to catch people's attention. It's, uh, they have to read thousands of these personal statements, and if you're not interesting uh, or if you don't you know, catch their eye, they're not going to pay much attention. They're just going to skim your essay, and they won't remember you when it comes time to go into committee. The second was that it was such a focused topic. I mean, he was basically talking about a period of you know, 30 to 45 seconds, and the entire personal statement revolved around uh, that period of time. Um, and I think that that was, that, that was one of the things that made it so powerful was that rather than trying to do his entire resume, going over every activity that he had ever done, he was incredibly focused on this individual element. Um, the last was that it was really representative of his application persona. Um, we use that term to sort of embody the idea that each application should have a theme. And this individual was, uh, his theme was that he wanted to become a, a member of Doctors Without Borders. Um, and I think that the entire essay really reflected well um, and kind of corroborated that theme, which was seen sort of throughout the rest of the application. Uh, so I think that's probably the best personal statement I've ever read. I'm Joel Butterly, the co-founder and CEO of Ingenious Prep. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below.